Last week, I went on a deep sea fishing trip. We went on the first opening day of recreational red snapper season, and I caught this monster. Instead of cooking with only fillets, which is, you know, obviously more easy and convenient, I like to cook with the entire fish. Check out the deckhand from the fishing trip filleting the fish. He's wasting so many meaty parts. I like to eat the fish right off the bone, so nothing is wasted. In this video, we'll be using mingo snappers as an example, and we'll show you how to clean it. We'll also show you our two favorite ways to cook whole fish. If you're interested, please keep watching. Bear cuisine. First, use scissors to remove all the fins. They're pretty sharp and they can be dangerous when you descale the fish and you can't eat them, so we just get rid of them. Use a paper towel to hold the fish so that it won't slip out of your hands. Just use a knife to scrape off the scales. Or you can buy a fish scaler like this one from Amazon, which will be safer than using a knife. Rinse the fish under the water. Our fish is already gutted. If yours hasn't been, just cut open the belly section and remove the guts inside. Besides the guts, you'll also need to remove the gills. If you cook it with the gills, it'll add an unpleasant taste. There are two major connecting sections here. One's the lower jaw, and the other is connected to the head. Use scissors to cut off these connecting points, and it'll be very easy to pull apart. However, if you're using a big fish, it might get harder. For me, if it's too hard to pull out, I just cut off the whole head. Red snapper is this way, or any kind of large fish. Rinse it again, and also pull out the silver film and any red part that you see inside the fish. Basically, just remove anything else inside besides the meaty parts. Voila! Now the fish is super clean and ready to cook. Our two favorite ways to cook it are with air frying and by steaming. To air fry it, preheat your air fryer for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Marinate the fish with a pinch of salt. Before adding the fish to the air fryer, spray with oil. Cook it for 10 minutes. While the fish is cooking, we can prepare some seasoning mix. Here are my favorite combinations. For the cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and black pepper, I like to use the fresh ground ones so that it keeps the maximum fragrance. Mix all of the powder ingredients well. So two minutes into the cook, flip the fish to the other side so each side of the skin will be crispy. Sprinkle the dry rub and voila, it's done. The air fryer method is so easy to make and the skin is the best, so crunchy and tasty. The next method is steaming the fish. We're gonna cut it in half so it'll cook more evenly. Slice the filet from the tail against the bone. Keep slicing in the middle section and chop off the big bone with the knife. Now you'll get a fish that can stand like this. Make sure your fish is small enough to fit in the steamer. If it's too big, you can bake it in the air fryer or oven instead. Bring the water to a boil and place the steamer on top. Cover the lid and steam for 10 minutes over high heat. While the fish is heating up, let's prepare some ingredients. We'll need a small piece of ginger, a small piece of carrot, and some scallions. Cut everything into thin slices. 10 minutes later, let's take a look. Now that the fish has been fully cooked, next comes the trickiest part, removing the water from the plate. Removing the water lets us get maximum flavor from the sauce later, but be careful not to burn yourself while doing so. Place the sliced vegetables over the fish. Heat up some oil, and then pour it on top of everything. Add about two tablespoons of soy sauce, or you can use a steam fish soy sauce, which is designed specifically for this dish or any seafood dish, and it's done. Wow, look how tender it is. The steaming method is so effortless, and it keeps all the freshness and flavor of the fish. While the scallion and ginger provide so much extra flavor to the oil, everything tastes so wonderful together. Thank you so much for watching until the end. We hope you enjoyed these recipes for cooking entire fishes, and we hope you'll give it a try sometime. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell button to get notifications on our future recipes.